What's up, doers? It's your boy, Happy Chappy. We're back again with another video. Look at, somebody was asking me to make some early game farms, so that's what we're gonna do today. Now, to, for me, these are the five early game farms, the only five early game farms that I typically need or typically build. Once you get these things going and get the essential items from each one of them, I mean, you're basically off to the races with this. So let's just get right into it. So the first farm that everybody needs, no matter what, is going to be a chicken cooker or some sort of chicken farm. So if we look in here, these are the items that you're going to need. So you're going to need uh, two chests, a dispenser, two hoppers, three slabs. I think it's only two actually that we're going to use for this build. 13 glass, one repeater, one comparator, seven or eight redstone dust, a bucket of lava, and then some starter eggs to get the farm going. So we're gonna grab these items here. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is dig out two blocks and put your chest down into the ground just like that. And then come to the back side here and dig out one more block and put your chest going, or sorry, put your hopper going into the chest there. Put a slab on top of it. And then behind the slab, you want to put your dispenser with the mouth going forwards. Next, you want to come to the side of the dispenser here and place your hopper going into the side with another slab on top. And everything should look like that. Then you want to come behind the dispenser, put down a comparator, then a repeater. And then bring your redstone around. Do not connect it to the comparator though. So you want to come out and around to the side just like that. If you do connect it and you see that little line, the firing system will not work. Next, what you want to do is you want to grab your glass block and from this corner here, come up three blocks, come to the side, come up two blocks, come to the back, come up two blocks, and then come above the dispenser and add two more blocks. And then come here beside the hopper with the slab and put two more blocks down and then two more blocks in the front just like you see there. So that should be your setup and what it looks like. Okay, and once you've done that, you want to come to the top block here on the lower half and place your lava source. Now because we have the half slab on the bottom here, the lava isn't going to sink down and um, the baby chickens are going to be short enough that they won't get hit by the lava but once they grow up they will be tall enough and get burnt by the lava collected by the hopper and you'll end up with cooked chicken in here so what you want to do after that is just come to the top here and start filling this with as many baby chickens as you can using eggs and once those baby chickens have grown up they're going to start to breed and lay eggs and once your eggs are in this system here so we'll just throw a bunch down here they're going to get filtered through the system, fired into the bottom slab here. And we should get a couple of baby chickens out of this. Yep, there you can see we're already starting to get some baby chickens out of this. And once those baby chickens grow up, like I said, they will be tall enough to touch the lava and you will end up with some cooked chicken in the chest here. Now, this isn't a 100% efficient system. Sometimes the chickens do grow up and they're... And when they get burnt by the lava, their cooked chicken will fly up into the lava and get burnt away. But that is no problem. You still end up with a good amount of cooked chicken after a short while. What you don't want to do is you don't want to end up putting a hopper on top here. Because if you put the hopper on top, the baby chickens can get up onto the edge of the dispenser here. And once the other chickens grow up, everybody kind of just all gets burnt as one and you end up killing your baby chickens. And so here's a quick little run around of what this system looks like. And now let's move on to the next farm. Okay, next is your cow farm. Now, these are the items that you need in order to build this above ground. But building it above ground makes it, you know, two blocks into the air which makes it kind of hard for you to get your cows into this system so what we're going to do is we're going to use the edge of an area just like this so these are the items that you're going to need to get that done so you're going to need a hopper two chests a dispenser five slabs four or five slabs anyways one oak fence a button 
some just three pieces of uh, random dirt or other block. This is to get the cows into the hole, and then uh, and then a single water bucket, and then obviously some wheat in order to lure the cows in. So what you want to do is you want to come over to a little edge here like this, or you can build this up if you want to. And you want to remove these two blocks down here, and then put your double chest down. Remove two blocks behind that, and place your hopper going into those chests. Remove this block here to the side, and place your dispenser, and put a water bucket inside of it. Put a button on the side of that dispenser then look into that button on the top side and place your slab down this will hold the water and the cows in allowing you to still have access to the chest and then just put four slabs around the area just like that and you are good to go next what you want to do in order to lure these cows in is you want to put up two blocks even three is good if you want to just like you see there you can even do it on this side so that way they can't fall down I'm going to use a cow egg in order to get my cows in the area here so as you can see we have our cow here now this is how you get your cow down into the hole a lot of people have a lot of problems with this saying they can't get the cow into the hole but if you just build that little area there that's in the corner get your wheat out don't fall into the hole lure your cow over near the system and then start to push him towards that back corner eventually he's going to get to the point where he just falls in it's as easy as that so we'll get another cow out here or we'll lure him close to the system here he's close enough there we'll still have our weed out and we just push the cow until he gets to the back corner and he's in there you can do this with as many cows as you want to we can get a third cow in here if we want move him over to the system and start to just bump his way towards the back corner and there you have it okay and once you have enough cows in here for you to breed what you want to do is look at this block here put your oak fence down and then remove the rest of the blocks what are you doing once you have your oak fence in place you come down here with your weed out press your button and just kind of come side to side and start breeding your cows. Turn the water off when you are all done. Collect your HP and you can see the baby cow down there. Now those cows will eventually grow up. And once you have enough cows in this system here, the crush mechanic will kill the cows and you will collect your leather and beef from this farm. So if we just fill this system up here by doing this... You can see that once you get one too many adult cows in there, the crush mechanic takes over and the cows start to die. Their items get collected by the hopper and you end up with your raw beef and your leather in your chest here. Okay, so that's the cow farm done and over with. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, your next farm is just your basic traditional wool farm. I'm sure you've seen this one before, but we'll do a block by block build for you. So these are the items that you're going to need for it. You're going to need a single block of cobblestone, a dispenser, an observer. You're going to need two pieces of grass block, eight glass, one piece of redstone, two chests, a single hopper, a minecart with hopper, and a rail. And the first thing you're going to want to do is, like usual, just dig yourself out an area for your chest here. Dig out another block behind it and put your hopper going into the chest. Place your rail on top of the hopper and then your minecart. After that, you want to put a couple temporary blocks and put two grass blocks side by side. Okay, we'll explain why you need the second grass block after this. Next, you want to come around the back side, place your observer with its little butt facing to the rear here. Put a block on the back of that with a piece of redstone on top and then your dispenser on top here. Now, you want to fill this dispenser with your shears. I don't know why I didn't put that into the list here, but so fill your dispenser up with as many shears as you want. And then surround this sucker here with some glass. So you want to put a piece of glass there. 
one in front and then one to the side and then put another layer on top and that there is going to hold the sheep in okay here you can do the same thing as the cows now you can build this down one more block if you want to in order for it to be closer to the ground but for my purposes all i'm going to do is just build myself a little stairway here and then do the same thing you did with the cows on the back side put yourself a couple of blocks just like that maybe one more to the left so that way you have a little l system once you have your sheep nearby get your wool out climb up to the top jump up all the way so that way your sheep comes up and then do the same thing you did with the cows here you want to jump down and just start to push the sheep towards the back corner there this is a little tricky because we've got this one high in the air but as you can see it is still manageable once you get the sheep in place you can remove all of these temporary blocks if you want to and now what's going to happen is the sheep is going to eat the grass the observer is going to recognize the block change or the block update whatever you want to call it fire the redstone which is then going to dispense the shears so i'll put my wool away and as you can see he eats the grass shears get dispensed they stay in the system and your wool is collected by the hopper system here now this second grass block is here because in order for the grass to regrow on this side it needs a grass block beside it so if you really wanted to you can put one on either side well you can even put one in the front like that as you can see and that there is your wool farm done okay i'll do a little circle around here for you guys so you can see what it looks like like i said you can build this one one more down into the ground probably even build it up onto a ledge just like that just kind of like the cow farm is and the next farm is your sugarcane or bamboo farm now this is a farm that you can alternate back and forwards between the two if you want to and these are the items that you're going to need so you're going to need two chests three hoppers 36 of each block here so you can use all dirt if you want to or you can use dirt and oak planks or some kind of wood 21 glass seven pistons one observer seven redstone a water source five rails two powered rails and a way to power those rails on we are going to use levers but if you want to you can put blocks of redstone underneath it but that's kind of expensive and then a minecart with hopper you'll also need your bamboo or sugarcane depending on what you're going to grow and this is how you build it so the first thing you're going to want to do is place your block down and then count down seven blocks and place another one so we got one two three four five six seven and then place another block just like that next what you're going to do is somewhere in the middle here you are going to dig out two blocks in order to put your chest down and then three blocks behind it so you can put your hoppers going into this one going into those two hoppers and then those two going into the chest after that you're going to put a power rail on each side with your five rails in the middle here you're going to have to shift click in order to get the rails over top of the hoppers and then you're going to place your minecart on one end and then come to the back here and put a lever on each side just like you see there now if you're going to use the redstone blocks all you have to do is dig this out put a block of redstone down and then your powered rail on top of it and as you can see once you do that the rail is actually lit and ready to go but we are just going to do it the traditional way because levers are a little less expensive next what you want to do is place a block above every rail here so just aim at the rail and place your block and you can see that because this takes up a full section our things will go on top here and after that what you want to do is you want to place a block down at the end and come out two blocks on each side so place three blocks on each end and then come down this way and connect them all up and then behind the rail system place a block down on the ground 
and this is where you're going to put your water so if you put a water block here and a water block there you can collect water here from this section and then just come down another two collect water collect water and then place it if you do it that way you won't hear the running water while this farm is actually working once you do that you want to place your oak slabs or whatever blocks you're going to use over top of the water and one on each end and then you're going to place your pistons seven long on top of that with your observer over the middle one with its butt facing backwards here and then on the back side of the pistons place a block down on each one with redstone going all the way across and as you can see once the once something gets in front of the observer here all the pistons will fall next what you want to do is you want to grab your bamboo or your sugar cane and place those items down and then on the front here place a temporary block if you want to and then three more blocks in front of that all the way across and then cover this whole system up so on top here what we want to do is you actually want to put a glass layer on top as well and then fill this whole sucker in so that way no items can escape once the system fires and that is it right there that is your system done next you just want to come around the back side power the rails you can see your minecart goes back and forwards now because this system is so short this is why we need at least two or three hoppers here because these hoppers can pass over a single or sorry this minecart can pass over a single hopper so fast that it actually won't get collected by the hopper and the items will just stay inside the minecart which is not what we want Okay, and as you've seen there, once the items got tall enough and in front of the observer, the whole system fires and your items are collected here by the chest. Okay, so we'll do a quick wrap around of what this here looks like. There's your redstone going all the way across the pistons. And that is your sugarcane or bamboo farm. You can use that. You can use the bamboo in order to build your scaffolding to build a lot of things. And you can use the sugarcane to collect paper in order for you to build your books so we combine this with the cow farm here and you have yourself a bookmaking machine okay and as you can see we've been doing this for about 20 minutes now you can see the whole bottom section here is filled up with baby chickens and if we look into the chest here we have three feathers and a cooked chicken okay and your last farm is going to be a semi-auto farm this is something that everybody should build as right away as soon as you can you can get all your string that you need for the dispensers here from spiders at night time and you just use the wood to build sticks in order for you to build your bows which you can use to get your dispensers okay so these are the items that you need for the semi farm you're going to need eight dispensers with a bucket of water to put into every single one of those you're going to need 19 redstone so it depends eight or eight between eight and 19 redstone depending on how you set this up one redstone repeater depending on how you set it up a button to fire the system two chests one hopper you don't necessarily need the dirt but you might as well grab 32 dirt anyways an oak trap door your hoe in order to till the soil three more buckets of water in order for you to water everything and do your collection system and then the items here that you're going to grow now i'm also going to show you how to convert this farm later on in the game because after a while these items here become useless you don't really need any more of these after a certain little certain amount of time so i'm going to show you how to convert this into a semi-auto nether warp farm so okay first thing you're going to do is find yourself a flat high ground like you see here and then dig yourself out a little corner just like you see here and then dig out one more block and put your chest down and then on the corner of that chest dig down two blocks put your hopper going into the chest 
and then stand on the hopper and dig out seven more blocks that direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once you have that done, place your water source down. And as you can see, your water should end here on top of the hopper without overflowing. Next, you want to take the trap door that we had and place it down over top of the chest here and fold it upwards. And then come out and over one block here and dig out eight blocks that direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then do the same thing on the other side. So come out one block and then over and remove eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Make sure you fill in any open areas just like you see there. So that way um, no water can escape and put a water source on each side. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Next, you're going to grab your till and in between this whole area here, till out all the soil. Okay, and once you have that done, you should see the whole area starting to saturate with water. Now, because water can saturate over four blocks with the water source on each side, this whole area should be good to go. So next, what you want to do is you want to come to the back side here. And in between all this water, place down your eight dispensers and fill every single one of them with a bucket of water. Okay, and once you have all your dispensers here filled with water, use the dirt that you removed from the sides and the front here and cover up this entire area here. Do the same thing on this side, cover up your water. And then on the back side here, you want to put up a little barrier so that way you don't lose any items as they come rushing down. You can even put one over top of that section there. Leave yourself a little opening if you want to for you to get in and out. And once you have that done, now when the water comes rushing out of here, the items can actually hop up onto the edges here. They can even get hopped up onto the back side here. So you want to do this with another layer about six or seven blocks down from the side and then one layer on top of all of the dispensers just to stop your crops from jumping out of the system and then you're going to come around the back side of the dispensers here and put down another layer of blocks Put your button on the back of this one corner here and then run your redstone all the way down to the button there. Now if you want to be able to see what is happening as you fire this farm all you have to do is take your dirt blocks run them out all the way down into the side here Take your redstone, bring it around the corner, add your repeater in going that direction and just leave it as on the zero tick mark and bring your redstone down, add your button here down to the end. And then as you stand here, you can press the button and see your crops come down. So as you can see, the whole system fires. When we deactivate it, all the water starts to disappear and your system is ready. What you want to do is you want to fill this with with whatever desired crop you want. So you can even do three wide with carrots if you wanted to, and then switch to potatoes, and then even switch over to wheat if you want to. Or you can do one whole crop, it does not matter to me. Now if we just wait for this to grow, okay, and once all your crops have grown, you can just come over here, hit your button, and as you can see, all the items come flying down. They get stopped in the corner there, collected by the hopper, and then dumped into the chest. And that is your automatic farm done. Just turn the system off. Take about a half stack of everything that is in here. And then replant your crops if you want to.
Okay, so that is what the farm there looks like. The massive farm is 64 blocks in total. So you can do a full stack of something or two half stacks of something if you want to. Now, as I was saying, later on in the game, this farm kind of becomes useless to a lot of people. So I'm going to show you what you can do to convert it into something a little more useful once you get a little bit late game. So you take your soul sand here that you get from the nether. And what you want to do is just remove all of these dirt blocks in here and replace them with your soul sand blocks. Okay, and once you have those blocks changed out into your soul sand, you can start to place your nether wards down. And once you've done all that, just simply wait for the nether warts to grow into level four or whatever it is, age four. Okay, and as you can see, we have nothing in the chest here for nether warts. And once all your nether warts have grown up into your desired age, just hit the button, turn it off. Oh, we turned it off one too soon. And there you have it. You have yourself a late game nether ward farm. Or auto, semi auto nether ward farm, I should say. And as you can see, from 64 nether warts, you get quite a bit of return on your planting here. So that is the semi auto farm done and complete. You can obviously change these blocks out here to glass if you want to just to kind of make it a little bit easier on the eyes. You can even do these ones back here as glass blocks. You know, maybe even put your button up here if you want to, so that way you can kind of stand on top and see the farm working. But that is it. That's your semi-auto farm done and complete. And this is the five farms that I think everybody should have in their early game. Sorry if I seem like I'm rushing today because I actually kind of am, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. You can see we have more cooked chicken there. You can see we've got more leather and more th stuff there. You can see we have 15 wool by the time we're done farm or doing this video. And as for our sugar cane, I mean that doesn't really count because we were using the increased tick speed. But yeah, those are your five farms done. These are your five early game farms that everybody should have. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.